Aegon Digital's Deverberate 3 allows you to take a sound like this one recorded in a bathroom. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. And we can take the reverb out. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. So this one was recorded in a bathroom and you can hear it does really, really well. And I want to show you just a bunch of different uh, of it's the same dialogue recorded in a lot of different scenarios to show you how Deverberate 3 stacks up. And there are two controls I grab most of the time. The others I'll sometimes touch, like there's spectral smoothing, the ability to affect the reverb, you can control the dry level. But the two big controls are the sensitivity and the early reflections. I don't usually bring the sensitivity up too much because it gets quite phasey when you do this. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. So it, it removes all the verb, but it also gets just a bit more phasey. It's a bit of an art. I find the default setting to usually be where I like it. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. A lot of those tales, especially transients or sibilances, uh, they just come through a bit cleaner and less phasey. And if we reduce it, here's what it sounds like reduced. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. It's almost like the opposite. You get bursts of reverb on specific transients and sibilances and things. So I think the zero values is, it's almost always where I want it. Uh, but if I get really desperate or if the audio is just in a really bad place, sometimes the phasiness is better than unusable audio. Uh, the other one is early reflections. Now on this one, I don't really want to use it because it's really great at taking out tonal issues with early reflections. This doesn't really suffer from that. So these dialogues were recorded with a Zoom H2 at a church in just different scenarios. So this one was in the bathroom. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, we'll come over here to 10. 10 is an interesting one because it's basically in a box. This is basically in a box. You can hear it, it is horribly phasey. This is more than just a reverb problem. We have resonance problems. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented- It's just, it's just awful. So we're gonna come up here and go to Deverberate 3. And on this one, we, the reverb's not gonna do that much. Like if we listen to it. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith- It sounds the same. Uh, but if you use the learn function, it can deal with early reflections, which is where a lot of these issues come from. This is a really severe example. I literally crawled into this, basically a desk and read the dialogue in the desk, which is why it's so awful. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit learn and see how much we can correct it tonally. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. And so have the courts that it's played on. Though now a hardwood basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented That is game. pretty dang good. It's amazingly good. Uh, if we go ahead and do a, a little bit of a bypass, so here it is with it. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith. Here it is bypassed. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented Turn the game in the 1980s. And so have the courts that it's Off. played on. Though now a hardwood gym floor in a stadium on. type setting is the standard, Throughout the years, basketball has been played on everything from cement to fields to running tracks. A incredible job tonally. Is it something I'd want to use still? Not really, but it is a ton, ton better than the other thing. So when you do need early reflections, it is amazing what it can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other tracks. So we've looked at eight and 10. Let's go ahead and look at nine here. Where are we at? This is at a pulpit in a chapel. So we're at a pulpit and this one's got clear verb, not really any tonal issues in the voice, just some verb. So the default setting will probably actually work fine here. Let's go ahead and load it up. Here's what we got. This is at a pulpit in a chapel. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. And so have the courts that it's played on. Though now a hardwood gym floor in a stadium type setting is the standard. Throughout the years, basketball- So that gives you an idea. It's really a, you just put it on. There's some controls here. You get a little fans here if you want, but it's intended to just be a, you put it on and you move on. Uh, let's see, what's, what's this scenario? This is in a particularly problematic little hallway in front of a bathroom. So it's, it's also basically a box. Uh, we will go to plugins. 
toss it on and let's see what we got. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Now this one also has resonance related issues. So we might attempt to do an early reflection learn as well to get rid of the boominess in the voice. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. And so have the courts that it's played on. Though now a hardwood gym floor in a stadium type so it's setting still in there is the occasionally standard. throughout the years, basketball has been played on everything from cement to fields to running. We go ahead and do it again. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. If we go ahead and bypass play, it. basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. And here it is after. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Now it's a little bit more nasally and some of this is, you know, it's just the nature of wherever your mic was. Maybe you just put it where you could. If we bring this back, I find we'll get a more natural tone, but some more of the verb will, will creep in. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. It's just a little less that it's played thin. On. It's a thinner sound when you, when you tend to bring this up. But there you go, so, huge change to some really problematic audio. This one is in a brick room by a piano. There's actually one other in here I'd like to look at as well. Um, so it sounds like this, if we bypass this first. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. So I didn't apply an EQ to my voice. It's just how the room sounds and where the mic was at. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and do an early reflection learn on this as well. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s, and so have the courts that it's played on. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. If we go back and bypass. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. That's diverberate. Now that I said there was one more I'd like to look at, I believe it's this one. This is on a stage in the corner with some open resonant cavities nearby. Yeah, so there was a, a where the curtain goes and there was a open wooden box and I was speaking right by the hole of this box. So, and there was also a metal box containing a, a power panel that had some volume to it. So those were both contributing to the issues here. And if we go ahead and once again, we'll just grab it, put it on there, and let's see what we got. Basketball has come a long way since... Well, let's do a bypass version first. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s, and so have the courts that it's played on. All right, here it is after. Basketball has come a long way since Dr. James Naismith invented the game in the 1980s. Pretty good. Let me know what you think down below. Was it as impressive as you hoped it would be? Did you hope for something else? Have you tried it yourself? Let me know. Subscribe to that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.